plus 1400 if we just have the luxury resources behave like themselves. We should be at 9298 tourism total. And those button presses you hear in the background, that's my graphing calculator because I am dead serious about this. Welcome back to another Civilization 6 video here. This time we're trying for a really, really fast culture victory. The overall game plan here is to actually become a vampire or <laughs> really be initiated into the Sanguine Pact and then use vampire castles to get a ton of production and food with their capital and then do the court festival project over and over and over again. If you do not know about the court festival project, what it does is provide 50 tourism and 50 culture for every excess luxury that you have with your empire. Excess luxury is defined as basically if you have two diamonds, you have one excess luxury. If you have like a diamond and jade, you do not have any excess luxuries. So we need to basically find as many duplicate luxury resources as we can around the map and trade with the AI. Some additional stuff that we're gonna try, if you look at the game plan right here, capital build order scout, obviously just like last time as Ethiopia. The next thing we're gonna try for the Oracle Wonder, just to try to get more great writer points. Ambanada and the Great Library, primarily for the great works of writing slots. For our tech projects, just go for unlocking technologies to build improvements like plantations and stuff like that early. Go for iron working because you want to be able to chop jungles. And then go straight for printing to make your great works of writing even that stronger in the tourism game. For our Pantheon, I thought about doing Monument of the Gods for the additional production towards ancient and classical wonders. And I still may do that because basically with the secret societies, the AI gets a ton of faith generation quickly, and they always take religious settlements. After that, we're going right for Magnus for our governor order, get provision, two, two promotions there. Next, we're going with Sanguine Pact to get the free vampire unit for kind of more defensive. And then Pingala, and we're going all the way up to Curator as soon as possible. This is only five, six, seven promotions, so it's totally doable by turn 80 in this secret society mode. And that's about it. Let's buy extra luxuries from the AI. Okay, this is, I think we can attack. I think we're good. Let's go ahead and get a builder now. Oh, your bonus be resources behave like luxury resources. That changes things a lot. Because now we have two cattle and that counts as one look. Oh, that's great. Oh, that it couldn't have been any better. Okay. Did we get it? Oh, we didn't get the vampire one. Okay, it could have been better. <laughs> it could have been a little better. For our first tribal village in the game, we got our secret society. Excellent. And a free envoy. Oh. Okay, we don't need to unlock that one yet. Well, let's go ahead and put Magnus, win at their capital, to get him established for the chopping, which is going to happen super quick. Oh, look at all. Look at all these olives. One, two, three, four, five, and a couple of tea, and a couple of bonus resources here. Holy smokes. Another governor title. All right. <laughs> this is quick. This was real quick. We already have provision with Magnus, which we want on turn 10. That is actually cra pretty crazy. We do definitely need to find a barbarian encampment around here somewhere, and a lot of salt onto the south. I am really liking this. Okay, it looks like Kand is right there. So our second city, I think we're gonna be somewhat aggressive and founding it up here. And I have our vampire unit up there. Relic! What? That is awesome! No way. Okay, can you give us open borders? You don't have open borders yet. What kind of backward civilization are you? Oh man, for our civics, let's just go for mysticism to get Oracle right away. I, wow. <laughs> There's Poundmaker of the Cree. Honor to meet you. Uh, no, you don't. I don't want you to know where our capital is. Let's go ahead and chop this settler down to two turns. This is awesome. This game's going quite well already. Couple of choices we have. Our city patron goddess, 25% production towards districts and cities without a specialty district. This would really help getting our theater scores up pretty quickly. The other one is Monument to the Gods. 
15% production towards ancient classical era wonders, which is like Oracle and Apanada. I think I'm gonna try City Patron Goddess to get our get our theater scores up even quicker. Okay, now we're kind of stuck. <laughs> oh, we would still get these two olives when it the uh, borders. We will get these olives, and we have a ton of stuff to chop around here. We wouldn't get this tea. We can get we can find another city over here. Let's just find this second city right here. Whoa, look at all the jade that you have. We can already get open borders with Pollen Maker, which is good news. Don't kill it, don't kill it. Okay, good. Do we got it? Yes. Oh, man. No vampires yet. No vampires. Okay, Egypt's in this game. So let's go ahead and look. How is everything going? We have... I guess we generate eight tourism towards Egypt now because we've known them for one term. That is the problem with getting a relic early is you need to actually know them because we have zero for these two other element players. But we're starting to get a lot more for the other ones. So let's go ahead and see if Egypt, they don't have his open borders. Okay. 20 horses. Yes, 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 yes. Let's sell them. After looking at which AI will give us the best deal, it is definitely Palmaker, and they will give us the perfect amount. Eight gold for, and then three gold per turn. And now we can do this in our capital. We go ahead and buy. We're what do we gotta? We go ahead and build our campus as a plus three, right there. Well, governor title. Like we need that. We actually do need the vampires. Um, oh, Halifax is right there. That's right where we're going. Uh, I guess we're going down here. There's iron. We unlocked iron working. And we blocked Agog, which is pretty good. Oh, iron right next to our capital. That is pretty awesome. Let's go ahead and found our city on the coast. Next is some tea and a couple banana bonus resources, which will really help now that we'll be, we'll be Caesarians and bonus Aries. I'm actually kind of saving our error score. I don't know, seven. We need three more era score. We could do it. Yeah, let's just do it. Bonus areas, two era score. Now we're one away. <laughs> so, so that always feels really good. But let's go ahead. Minus one amenities. We need builders. Let's go ahead and change our policies up here and go for builders. Anuk. Oh, right. We met Carthage. I think this is actually perfect. Yeah, we got the one air score. <laughs> we just nailed it. We got the golden age now. And we got early empire. Excellent. Let's see. Five turns left for this wonder. The next one we want is Abanana, which is not until we get political philosophy. So it'll be 11 turns. And the one for that is a great library. So it looks like a lot of people went into a golden age. Wait, what? 5% science in all cities for each different improved strategic resource they have? That is nuts! Wow! What are you building over here? Great bath. It's still not done? Okay. We're back! And we're super close to getting to the Oracle! This should be maybe the halfway point of the video? I don't know. I did edit the first part. And I thought about what to do next. And if you remember the Ethiopia playthrough, what do we do halfway through? We completely threw away the game plan and we changed course. So I've been doing some thinking over the past few days. And just by thinking, I basically thought about the core festival project. So the core festival project, once we get it, okay, let's just imagine this scenario. We have seven excess luxuries. Okay, so that is 350 tourism. If we do the math, which is basically tourism accumulated divided by number of civilizations multiplied by 200. So we would need 3.42857, really like four. We would need four court festival projects and able to get a visitor from the AI. And what would that, that would actually give a visitor from each one of these one, two, three, four, five. However, so, so 350 production, if we have 50 production, which is kind of reasonable what we would have, that's seven turns. But if we look here, 
Poundmaker is already getting 50 culture per turn. So every two turns, they get another domestic tourist. Just extrapolating with the estimated 350 production, 4,350 tourism that I explained earlier, it takes 28 turns to generate five tourists. And in the 28 turns, Poundmaker will have 56 more domestic tours. So it is not a winning proposition if we just focus on the court festival project winning their capital. So what are we gonna do? Well, if we look around the map, I already kind of messed up pretty hard. <laughs> I put the Great Library right here, or actually the campus right here. And if you know, the Great Library needs to be in a flatland adjacent to a campus district with a library. There are two tiles. You can actually build it right here or here. However, they're outside of our border of our city range. Additionally, our other stipulation that we want to get is Ampanada. And if we look over here, it is pretty much completed in the Egyptian Empire. And we actually should probably switch to political philosophy. So in nine turns, we're actually going to be, the, be able to have the luxury of building Ampanada. But there's no way we're going to get it. So what are we going to do? What, what should we do? Basically, with the vampire units, you get a ton of production. In one city, you get your capital. So vampires are actually really, really good at doing domination victories. And man, I really thought about doing an Aztec vampire run. But I saw another much, 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 much bigger YouTuber <laughs> just do a vampire run of the uh, Aztecs. Which is out. <laughs> so you just watch that instead. So we're not going to do that. So what are we going to do instead? We're going back to good old faithful void singers and why are we doing that is because basically if you're not getting a really fast tourism victory game you need a ton of faith because faith basically buys rock bands it buys naturalist it buys everything you really want for a tourism victory i guess even buys great people so now what we can do is what we did what did we finish here i don't know well let's go for this this thing right now the old god of Blisk, which actually has another Slot for great works of writing, which we will have a ton of great works. We're gonna have okay, everybody's upset or happy that they <laughs> we chose our secret society, but we're I gonna have a ton of great works now that we have Dolphin. Oracle in our capital, and we won't have anywhere to put them itself. if we don't expand the the fast enough. So Dolphin. now we're gonna hopefully get enough faith to buy at least two settlers. I'm crossing my fingers. Now that we have the Golden Age Money Mortality bonus. And from there, we'll at least have, we're basically building theater scores right away. Ah, uh, it's going to be, it's going to be a lot of fun. So what do we want to do here? I think we just need to build a settler. So now the game plan is to basically take care of our settler and expand. We're going to expand to the south. I think we want a city around here, 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 here. I don't know, maybe over here. We basically need to found cities and chop down the theater school district and buy the Atma Theater. That's all we're doing. That's all, that's all we need to do. And also to not go to war with people. So for our technologies, the one we definitely want is printing. Provides one level, well, basically for printing, all tourism yields from great works of writing are doubled. And that's going to be absolutely amazing. But first of all, I think we're just going to go, like we don't have... We're going to go for masonry to build the walls in all our cities. Go for currency and then go for printing. And now this will be the time. Yeah, of course. <laughs> of course. Now we get vampires. Like after like four. Like there's so many. So many secret societies. Let's go ahead and make connoisseur right now. I think we're going to need that first. We're going to get, we're going to get another government promotion next turn anyways. And go ahead and promote Pingala one more time to Grants. Unlock political philosophy. Let us go for Class Republic. That is where we're going to stay the whole game. And let's definitely go for Settlers and, I don't know, Charismatic Leader. The last one, let's just go for Urban Planning to make our cities even more productive. This is why they're getting so much culture. Look at these tiles. Seven gold? Are you kidding me? Man, so here's our city layout. We'll have four cities down here, and we should probably find one to the right. Let's see, let's just find it on this tile. 
I think this would be a pretty good one. It's we'll have a nice campus right here. One, two, three, four, five, a plus five campus and some really nice production tiles. Well, at least this one's a really nice production tile. So we're in a little predicament here. We just finished the old God Obelisk, and I definitely want to build a theater square, but I don't want to waste any of these chops. Let's go ahead and buy a builder. So what we're going to do is go down here and get rid of the walls. Go ahead and chop this. So if you don't know, we have nothing queued up. So where did that 45 production go? It actually went to this theater square. So let's look, we're right at zero. We're getting 7.7 .7 per turn. So 45 plus seven is basically 52.7. So let's see what we have next turn. Right at 54, so I think we lost a little bit, but we definitely got some of the production from that shop. Ancestral Hall just finished up in our northern, one of our northernmost cities. So let's go ahead and found our first city down here. And now we have some a nice builder. And we're definitely gonna be chopping a lot of these luxuries and we're just going right for the theater square. We're not messing around here. And this one's gonna go right here. Because if you do not know, as we're playing as France, we get improved luxury resources adjacent to theater square districts or the chateau will receive plus two culture. So right here, we'll have two luxury resources right next to it. We got our first great writer of the game and we do not have amphitheater yet. Why did it spawn up here? I held up this is okay. Now we have the old God of Whisk around our empire. So we, we we're saved that we don't have any amphitheaters yet. And as wait, do we have 320 now? We have enough for a seller. We can just buy it in this one. Let's just buy this one down here and just found it down there. One, two, three, it's still being worth the amber. Yeah, that is much better. So now we're, we're starting to expand. I am liking this. We'll have another settler here. And I think that's actually all we wanted. So we can go for an amphitheater after that. 59 turns. 59 turns to build down to 37. Okay, that's better. I think we definitely need to chop a couple of these forests. Yeah, we're, we're buying everything. We need to buy stuff. Now, wow, 36 down to 22. That went super fast. This one's down 11 turns. Let's chop this thing. There we are, machinery. And another great person. Another great writer. Oh man, do we have, we don't have any spots to put this, do we? Oh crap. Okay, we'll have another spot in two turns. Another one, two turns after that. So it's not as bad as you think. Down to seven? Was that 21 down to seven? Wow. Wow. Let's go here and sell our tea again. We've been selling all of our luxury resources it has been pretty awesome getting a ton of gold. We don't have any extra tea apparently. <laughs> we sold earlier. And now look at France's effect. We get two culture for that. I was thinking about our city location over here. We can definitely find a city here and another one I think right here. Yeah, I think let's just go like this. Let's add another tack right here. This will be a pretty good city because we have some nice floodplains over here. And we're four tiles away, which is nice. And now we have two cities for the price of one. But we desperately need to switch over to sailing <laughs> to get this uh, get the amber going. Maybe we should go at astro astrology first and then go right for writing. Astrology so we can get some holy sets because we're going to need faith. Now that we've pretty much bought everything we're, we're going to buy, basically, aka we bought our builders and settlers and stuff like that. The last era when we had monumentality, now we're saving everything. We're saving everything and we're going right for rock bands with our civics. Ooh, this is great. This is a great world congress for us. We don't really care. I guess we can vote two for this for the for the nice culture bomb. City center. Yeah, look at this. Oh, an encampment. That is actually kind of surprising. And then we won here. So we got two diplomatic victory points just for that. And now we can build our walls much, much faster. Let's go ahead and promote Void Singers to the ritual thing. We're not getting much faith. So I'm not expecting this to go up too much. We have 36.6 science and 50.5 culture. I didn't see a co-op at all. <laughs> okay, 41.6. 
and 55.5 culture, so five more culture. And this is just a military emergency that I have nothing, I don't know anything about. But we, know we got a great writer. See, this is what I'm talking about. This is kind of why we switch, because look at this. We have zero amphitheaters. We've already gotten three great writers. We're about to get two amphitheaters, though. Two turns, three turns, so it won't be too bad. But we would have missed out on a decent amount of tourism just for that. The light. Speaking of tourism, I should double check to make sure we have open borders with everybody. If I miss this, it's been like one turn. So this has not been too bad. But we got our first amphitheater done. Let's see, five of five housing, granary, and then housing. And then I definitely wouldn't mind some harbors. Well, let's go ahead and move some of these great works down here. Time. The There's printing. Press. This is great. We're already at 54 tourism. We're going to start skyrocketing too soon. It's turned 105, which is kind of late, honestly. Wish we had a little bit more tourism by now. But we have 902 gold. Let's just go ahead and start buying some map theaters in some of these places. Wait a second here. What would be better? Probably a market, honestly. Probably a market up here and buy a trader also. And then we can trade with Canada, get even more tourism. That is better. Next, we get an amphitheater. I think because we're kind of already, you know, we have enough spots for our additional great works of writing. So I think we're okay in that front. But let's go ahead and get a nice trade route with Ottawa. We sold a ton of stuff. And we're up to 149 gold per turn. And it really, another great writer. This is a, this literally just happened like three turns ago. A night that was. And now we only have two trade routes too. So we're gonna, this is gonna skyrocket pretty quickly. Great artist, our first great artist of the game. And this is why, okay, we just unlock the art museum now. But now that we have the nice unique monuments, we can already start getting tourism from these great works of art without actually having an art museum, which is one of the reasons we actually went for the Boyd Slinger's Secret Society. So let's go ahead and queue up. Let's just go for rock bands. That is a lot of civics away. <laughs> it's a lot of civics away. But that's, that's our game plan. We're definitely going for rock bands. Cree Empire is already getting 164 culture per turn. I've been trying to buy. Okay, they will buy. We can buy the great works writing from them. Excellent. I had to move this stuff out of the out of the capital. Let's just move another one. Can we buy your other one this turn? Or do we have to wait till next turn. Yeah, we have to wait till next turn, and we're gonna buy that great worker writing also. And we got another great person, but it's been enough time that we need to buy another app leader. Go ahead and buy here. We're actually running out of uh out of spots. We we're getting close to running out of spots again. What did we get? Scientist. Okay, I didn't expect that. We're really close to musician. And another writer, like <laughs> another writer. We almost got the city founded though, so we'll have another amphitheater quickly. We are up to 76 tourism. Not ideal, because if you look here, Palmakers has 97 domestic tourists already, which is quite a bit. Let's go ahead and found our next city. Oh, there's a two era score, so we secured a normal era. And the good thing about these Plains Hill styles of the forest as you can chop the forest down, you'll be down to two production, but then you build a mine, you'll be right back up to three. So we don't need to actually worry about chopping them. For our theater square location, let's just go to the right because we're definitely putting a campus right there. And that'll be our second campus of the game. We have 908 gold. That needs, an, that needs another amphitheater somewhere. Yeah, we got another location. No problem. And we actually don't have enough great works of writing to put in there. What is going on? Okay, next turn, we're going to get a great writer. Okay. I, I feel much better now. Wow, when did they get another great work of writing? We have to be pretty vigilant to make sure no other AIs have any great works. Which they don't anymore. We'll have to make sure next turn, now Pound, Pound Maker doesn't have another one. But let's go ahead and move this over to another city. Switch over our civics to theology for one turn. 
just so we can actually change up our policies because we need to get some builders in this game. We're almost at the point that we can start just doing our core festivals. We've been saving up all of our luxury resources the last few turns, but over here we need to build a couple builders just to get going. I'd like to get an industrial zone right here. Once you're done with this dam, this will be a really nice industrial zone location. Additionally, this industrial zone already has a plus two bonus. It'll have a plus four after that. We need to improve the stone. There's so much stuff to do. Additionally, if we look to the right, I was just thinking here, we finished the theater square. Amphitheater's 23 turns away, but we're just gonna go like this stuff instead. I was thinking, we're about to get another great writer. Oh, our first great musician of the game. Awesome. That is great. But we're about to get another great writer. What, 26.4 great writer points per turn? Seriously? We could buy this great artist right now with all of our faith, but I don't feel too comfortable doing that right now. But we're about to get another great writer, and we won't have anywhere to put the great works of writing. I was thinking we should just found another city. We could found another city probably right here. And then it should have enough production. We could chop this forest there to get the theater square. Additionally, once we have this one here, we can just string these cities right along the coast. I guess all the way until the barbarian outpost. Just hit 600 gold again. You know what that means. Time to buy an amphitheater in this city. Let's go ahead. Where are we at here? Porto. We got another great worker writer last turn. To be. And now we already have the amphitheater filled up. Now we got a great person. Let's see, a great artist. Okay, we'll take this one. We will definitely take this one. So the first one that we want to use is a great Sistine Chapel ceiling. So let's put that one here. And this should give us a half a theming. Yeah, we're two out of three theming bonus there. And the other two are just basically relics. So I was looking and there was a great artist where they had a bunch of relics earlier and I'm assuming the Cree got them. Yeah, right there. There is that great artist, Donatello. We should make sure, oh, never mind. It's not gonna work. Now we can get them. 14 gold per turn for that. Can we get the sculpture too? Do we not have a valid spot for that? They must have just got it this turn. Is it because our palace is, is not empty? Let's check that theory. Nope. Maybe they just got it this turn. Okay. Let's go ahead and move these back to our palace. Now we can get it. Okay. I just feel like the same turn they actually make the great work, they do not want to trade it. So we have to wait till the next turn. 17 gold per turn. It's worth it. It is totally worth it. <laughs> All of our great work slots are practically full. We have 31 great works out of 33 spaces. Once we get this art museum done in a few more turns, we'll probably start moving things around to optimize things a little bit more. I probably I mean 100% is actually happening. This city is going well. We're almost got the theater square, oh, I guess 25 more turns, which is quite a few turns. The art museum's done in our capital and I think it is time. I think it is time to start spamming court festivals. Now that we have industrial zone maxed out, we're going straight for our next technology. We're going straight for industrialization to get a factory and hopefully a coal power plant. If we have coal, we're in the empire, but now it is certain that it is time to start doing court festivals. If we look here, currently in our resources tabs, we have four amber, only one jade, four olives, four salt, five sugar, four tea, and two wine. That is 17 additional luxuries and we can start buying stuff around the world quite easily. So let's go ahead and do this. Look at this. <laughs> what would it take? Five gold per turn. We're just securing the luxuries right now. And if you do not know, you can't do more than one at the same time. So you have to kind of do multiple trades. Another five gold per turn for that. Well, after some trading, we got some more luxury resources. We have 25 additional luxury resources right now. So do 25 times 50, that's 1,250 tourism generated from one court festival project, which is actually enough to get one visitor 
to us from each civilization. So every 10 turns, we can get one, two, three, four, five for every core festival project we complete. So we have one going over here in La Rochelle, and we have one in Paris, and we'll have one in Bordeaux. So this is the turn when one of our court festival projects finally finishes. So I did some more trading with the AI, and right now we currently have 28 excess luxuries. So I did the math, and that will give us 1,400 tourism. Additionally, if we had, since we have bonus areas here, I don't know how this works, but it says here your bonus resources behave like luxury resources providing one amenity per type. So I'm assuming that it works with Court Festival. We have one the bonus resources on here. We have a total of 11. And do 11 times 50 is 550. So we can see if we actually get 550 additional tourism. So let's go ahead and do some math. Let's just start off at Canada. So this turn it's seven, six, four, five, and we're getting 253 per turn. So next turn should be at seven, eight, nine, eight with no court festival project plus 1400. If we just have the luxury resources behave like themselves, we should be at nine, two, nine, eight tourism total. And it was bunt presses you hear in the background. That's my graphing calculator. Cause I am dead serious about this. It is nationalism which engenders. We got a ton, a ton, a ton of culture. I don't know how much culture we got, but let's look here. Nine two nine eight. That's exactly what I said. So okay, so the bonus Aries thing does not work with our luxury resources, which is really unfortunate. Man, four forty six out of four hundred and forty seven production. We were so close. But that just gives us another opportunity to see if we can buy any more luxuries from the AI. I'm almost thinking, let's queue up Culture Heritage to the Heritage Tourism card and then go for Rock Bands. Because it's 100% tourism from great works of art, which we do have a few of now. We're going to generate so much tourism right now. We are currently at 37 total visiting tourists now. 88777. Let's see what happens when two of these festivals finish at the same time with all of these. Look at this. Eight amber. Five sugar. Just crazy. And we got the civic heritage tourism. 100% putting that in place. And let's see. 10, 10, 9. They all both went up by two. Up to 47. Awesome. Look at this. Third one, 50. We're discovering coal. Coal's probably been discovered by different AIs in the world. Our city garrison defense combat strength is 22 in our capital because we still have warriors. Warrior is our most advanced melee unit. Our next most advanced unit is the archer. And that's, <laughs> that's pretty, pretty pathetic. Enemy spy, Bordeaux, it's the stole the great work. Fair goalie locks. Hmm. Let's see who that was. Maybe the Cree? Oh, look at you have this for sale. Okay, we'll buy it back. <laughs> oh, okay, now we can see the Kree. They definitely have a spy there. We should, I think we're gonna finish up Cold War. This turn to get rock bands. Cause La Rochelle, La Roche, From finish it up. We got Cold War, yes, yes, rock bands. Rock bands, buying them right here. 600, bought it. Another one right here. 700, bought it. I think we'll buy another one over here next turn. These are going straight to the Korea Empire because they have the highest culture pool. The most tourists to steal from. I guess Canada. Yeah, we can do one in Canada too. Why not? We have the faith. Are you a spearman? You are a spearman. Whoa, you're almost dead. Oh, this one barbarian camp has been causing us issue the whole game. And now we had to bring down there what a battle, turn 170. We have a Spearman, Barbarian versus a Knight. Like you've never seen that before in the turns one through 50 of the game. Who will come victorious? Our awesome Knight, or Warrior. <laughs> what am I talking about? Let's look at our Rock Band promotions. Classical Empire, fitting with the Warrior that we just had. Album cover art, I am liking this one. There's, I think the Kree have a ton of wonders. Mega Metal for this one. 
Religious Rock's bad. Indie's bad. Well, Glam Rock, we can do that. But I forgot to actually, we should move it forward a little bit. And so they have one movement left. Actually, if we have a half a movement left, and now we promote it. I forgot to do that with this one down here. Let's go ahead and buy another rock band. And that's all the rock bands we can actually buy. Let's do this one. Nuclear Barbarians. This one also has Glam Rock for Theater Square District Tiles. Honestly, it doesn't look like Cant has any. Where are your theater short district tiles, Kanda? We could bring this one over to the Cree again. Let's just do that. Go right there, half a movement left, and then let's do glam rock. And we'll start going here next turn. This is our first rock band. Only 250 tourism? That is pretty weak. 625. For reference, we need to get double that for one tourist from the Empire. Oh man, that was really weak. Hopefully they're gonna get a little bit better now. Let's see how you do on this one. Only 200, a promotion, 500, okay. You got promoted, that is what we want. Here's another classical Empire. Thousand tourism from this. 37% chance you're gonna die though. Yes, only 750 tourism. Not as good as I wanted it. This one here, only 250 tourism. 187. Oh, that's so weak. That's so weak. 750 tourism. This is the turn we have a, the unique triple tourism show. 1,000 from here, 1,250. Excellent. This one, 812. Didn't die. Can we go three for three? 625, we did it! We did it! They're at 203 right now. They're getting two per turn? Oh, we get the, what, the quadruple? Oh, man! Because they're at 225 culture per turn, so they're getting two tourists per turn. So let's see if we brought them down a little bit. Down to, down to 202. That is great. That is great. Another one. 1,000 tourism, you can do it. 1750, that's what I like to see. But even better, we're about to finish up another court festival. Will we have enough? We have 10 turns left to get environmentalism. Will this generate enough culture for us? We have a ton of extra resources, like, look at this, 10, 10 amber now, 10, 10 amber. Oh, down to three. That was super close. We're now at 121 at 203. Turn 178. And we just broke a thousand more faith, which means another rock band. This is the turn I feel like we're gonna lose something. Is this no way we can be this lucky again? Whoa, 2,500. This is the one I'm probably gonna lose. This one has the water park promotion. And so it's just a 50% chance that I'll actually live. No way, no way. We're getting super lucky. Like amazingly lucky. 50% chance, are we getting me lucky again? No way, 27, no, how is this possible? How? We lost a great work. Yeah, okay there, we got a great work of writing. That's fine, we just got a great writer. Write some more writing. That's fine, you're definitely gonna die this turn. There's no way, no way, no way. How? And we got a promotion? Surf ban, I guess. Were you able to do Vic culture imminent? imminent? Seven turns, apparently. Well, if this happens every turn. We did environmentalism in two more turns. Actually, next turn, because we're getting court festival. Let's go ahead and queue up space race after that. So that we can get the great works. And then social media. 16% chance, 16. I'm liking those odds. Oh, I should not have said that. Because 16 is low, but I mean, how have we not lost a single rock band yet? No way, and we're finishing our court festival. This this might be it. 128 we have. Another mitigated flood. Spectacular. I shall Environmentalism for 25% more tourism course my part. We're at 306, which is actually quite pathetic. <laughs> but it still is only turned 180. And what are we at now? 137, okay.
We're down Palm Maker's down to 197. I, I like that. But you're definitely gonna go for a court festival. And we're gonna try to get that great work of writing back. Okay, Renaissance Spiders, you got this. Canada. 750 tourism. I just can't believe this. How are we not? This is another theater square district tile. Rock band, which is kind of pointless now since we have no more theater square. 6,000! 6,000! Water park. 4,000! Oh, holy smokes! I just can't believe it. It's just no way. We, our rock fans are the best rock fans I think I've ever seen in this game. Double great person points. Honestly, great artist. Double great scientist, that's perfectly fine. Even if they had the you know unfortunate of like a no great writer points, we would be 3,750. We'd be a-okay. Because right now we're getting everything from these rock bands, which are quite crazy. This one, there's no way. Promotion 1125. These are the most, these are the most, these are the craziest rock bands I think I've ever, ever seen in this game. There's just no way. This one, water park tiles. Oh, wait, we have to go here. There we go. 4,500 tourism. Good, good show, Mega Metal. But we lost ya. Renaissance Spiders, promotion and leveled up. Four turns apparently. No way, we're gonna get it. This is the fastest coach victory I think I've ever had. <laughs> this, is, uh, this is pretty fun. Oh, okay, three and two. You know, we should have actually been buying builders and shopping these forests. What'd we get? We got our great artist. Come on, Renaissance Spiders, 1250. I'm liking that. Mega Metal. Is this the Mega Metal's last tour? No. <laughs> Let's do 5,250 tours. Wait, can we do this? Oh, Nuclear Barbarians. 7,500 tours. What? No way. What are we at here? Two, three, two, four. This is this game's. This game's done. There's another one. 4,500 tours. Oh man, oh, we're so good at this game. Victory. <laughs> we didn't even finish the a core festival culture. project. He's not measured oh, what accomplish. turn was that? Like 184? That was fun. Man, that was fun. I really wish we would have won a little sooner. You know, like turned 150 or less. But this is a good attempt for this victory run. All right, I hope you have fun watching this, and uh, thanks for watching.